Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a BoxyCharm unboxing and I almost didn't do it because it came so late and it's like the latest it's ever come. Um, I feel like everybody and their mother knows what's inside this box. So I opened it anyway because I didn't intend to do a video. And then there was something inside that made me go, yeah, I, I think I gotta do a video. So I popped it open already, which I normally don't do. So I already know what's in the box. So I'm gonna go through it anyway. But the reason I opened it is related to videos I've done before. So I'm going to leave that particular item for last uh, because I, I didn't intend to do a look or anything because, like I said, I wasn't going to do a video. But here we are. Um, so let's just go quickly through the things that are in the box and then I'll talk about the thing that I was excited to see. So the first item that's in the box is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream with Acerella Cherry. So I love, love, love the pharmacy um, bomb. It has like a really long name. It's in one of my last videos. It's in my one of my favorites from the skincare that comes in the BoxyCharm boxes. So I have never tried this. I'm certain that I'm going to like it and I'm certain I'm going to like the smell if they use the same uh, scents that they used in the bomb. I am looking forward to trying this. I want to open this um, pharmacy if, if their uh, eye cream is anything like their bomb, then I'm definitely going to enjoy it. And I'm ripping the box to shreds. Savage. So this is what she looks like. A little cute thing. It is uh, 1.5, uh, 0 0.5 fluid ounces. I just want to smell it. Ooh, a little sanitized top. We love that. I can't can't really smell anything not like the bomb where the, the cherry smell hits you so I don't know if that's such a bad thing um, I'm actually looking forward to using this and this is the pharmacy eye cream so the next item that's in the box is a Laura Geller mascara it's the volumizing brush va va voom volume for mega lashes lash boss bold that's a whole lot of words just to say it's a it's a black mascara um, I don't know if I'm going to like this brush. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm already looking at it and I'm like, uh, I don't know. It says wavy fibers for volume and definition and protective properties, gentle conditioning. I don't know. It's in the color black. I just want to open it to look at the brush. I don't like big brushes. I find them difficult to work with, especially with my hooded eyes. I just, I don't like anything. I like it smaller like plasticky brushes um I don't know we'll see this is not really my favorite type of mascara I feel like these are the mascaras that you can get at TJ Maxx I'm gonna check next time I go so I don't know how thrilled I am to get this but is it my first mascara from BoxyCharm I'm not sure so let's put that to the side so the next item in the box is the Billion Dollar Beauty Sponge, vegan and charcoal infused. Vegan? Really? It's a sponge. I, I guess. I guess. Yeah, right? Sponges can be living things. I guess this is synthetic. Right? Okay. I guess I'm right. Um, so let's see what this looks like. It's a beauty sponge. Nothing special. And, you know, whatever. I have a million of these, but... I guess Boxy Chan knows I don't wash them as often as I should. So the next item that's in the box is a Hank and Henry product. And so far, the things that I've gotten from Hank and Henry have been kind of hit and miss. I got the Blickety Black Liquid Eyeliner, which I kind of thought didn't look black at all. Um, to me, it kind of comes across a little brown. I, I have to try it again, but I'm certain that it came across a little brown. And then I got an eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow palette from Hank and Henry that I did not like and, and I've never used. I just didn't care for the color story. Um, but this is a satin matte lipstick. This is a really nice packaging. Very, very cute. And I have never had anything from Hank and Henry as far as lip products. So let's see what this looks like. Um, oh, this is a very nice component. Look how fancy schmancy that is. How lovely with the little bird symbol there. I think that's an owl. And this is in the color Lust. 
Ooh, that tells me it's going to be red. So let's see. Oh, look, you get, get to, oh, that's so nice. I love stuff like this. Look, it doesn't even move. How nice. The magnet keeps it in place until you pull. And it is not red, but it is magical. Look at that. That is something. Wow, that is really beautiful. I don't smell anything. And it kind of looks like it has an opalescent finish to it. I don't know if you could really see that there. I don't know if the light will really catch that. It looks like it might be a nude. I'm not sure, but I'll try it um, later on, I guess. But this is really a stunning component. I love this. This is really, really nice. It's my, maybe the nicest component I have now for a lip product. So the last product that was in the box, and the reason I'm actually making the video, I was very excited to see it in the box because I actually just shot a video recently about Latina-owned cosmetics companies that we should support year round, but I wanted to showcase them specifically for Hispanic Heritage Month, which is running until uh, from September 15th to October 15th. So I want to talk about um, Latina cosmetics companies as much as possible during this period of time, just because it's our time, <laughs> right? It's our time right now. So I spoke about this company called Alamar Cosmetics, and I believe I spoke about the Reina del Caribe Volume 2? I think it was the volume two palette. Uh, one of them is sold out. Maybe volume one is sold out. But anyway, when I did the research for that video, I did not see that they had come out with a new collection. And I saw it the day I made the video and I was kind of like, uh, I already shot the video. But I saw that they came out with a new palette and it was in the boxy charm this month. And it is the Spanglish palette from Alamar Cosmetics and I am so excited to get this because when I saw it online I said that is the cutest thing. I love the whole uh, Spanglish. It's so the door knocker earrings. I, I I can't get enough stuff like this. I swear to God. Absolutely adorable and um, it's a pressed pigment palette. This palette is dedicated to all the multicultural reinas. May you always feel represented and glam as hell with Alamar Cosmetics. I love that. I love that. I love that. And that's Gabriela Tru Trujillo, which I believe is one of the owners of Alamar Cosmetics. It says it's perfect for a day and night. This palette features a, uh, eight stunning shades. Our four shimmers are just like you, multidimensional and unique. Dripping in fine glitters and reflective pearls, ground your look with our easy to blend and ultra long wearing mattes. Best use dry, best use wet. Okay, I see what they did here. So they have um, two symbols in the back that I guess will be near uh, the respective colors to let you know if it's best used dry or wet. So that's pretty cool. I I've not seen that before on a palette, at least not one that I own. So let's open her up. I'm excited. All right, so let's not show the mirror. But I, I think it's adorable. And not only is it adorable, but the colors, the names of the colors are too much. It's too much. So this color is Better Like. So I don't know if you guys follow Better Like on Facebook. If you don't, you need to. You need to. Um, Better Like, that's pretty awesome. And here we have Edison Show. <laughs> I tell you, I love them. I love them. This is too hilarious. Um, then we have Tiena Swing. We have, wow. I love this. I love this. Wow. I love it. <laughs> I can't take it. Um, they have I get cute. I love that. <laughs> I can't take it. Uh, they have ja ja ja, which is our ha ha ha. Um, they have muy excited. Muy excited. I always say this. This is too funny. And they have ponte hyper. I love that. It's like when my grandmother used to say ponte freaky. Ponte freaky. That meant go ahead and do it. See if you don't get your ass kicked. <laughs> oh my God, these are so cute. And of, of course, um, I'm definitely drawn immediately to this color. Wow. Because it has that purple shift that I love so much. So I have to touch it right now. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. It, it immediately has 
that jam and jelly effect. I don't know if I could get the camera to pick it up. I swatched it in a bad place. Let me do it again on the back of my hand. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Let's get it to really pop. That is lovely. Let's see if we can get that to show. If you can see the reflection, that is really stunning. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. I love that so much. And the names are just so clever. I, I can't even take it. Um, the guau is really killing me. And it says it's best used wet, which I'm assuming um, all of the shimmers are best used wet. So that's basically what they're saying. And all of the mattes best used dry. That's pretty common sense. So I think I might do a quick look with this. So this is the look with the Spanglish palette that I came up with. I didn't feel like doing it on camera because I don't have a fast forward feature in my editor yet. And it just takes too long. So I used, I want to say, let's see, I think I used four of the colors, four of the eight. I used the two shimmers, Pero Like and Guau. And I used the colors, actually I used three. I used I Get Cute, Ja Ja Ja, and Muy Excited. So I ended up using um, three of the mattes because I was trying to deepen up the outside. Um, but I love that color, Guau. I really love it a lot. Um, I don't like the lipstick from Hank and Henry. While it feels really nice on the lips, this doesn't say lust to me at all. <laughs> When I think of lust, I think of hot. I think of red. I don't think of dead lips. <laughs> so I'm just going to add something to fix this. So I added a little bit of color. I added the color Cypress Chill. That's very cute. Um, from ColourPop. It is from their Ultra Blotted Lip. I just popped it over the Hank and Henry for a little shine and a little bit more color, honestly. Lust? should be something red, orange, fire and heat, not nude. Um, the component, beautiful. I thought it'd be red, but it wasn't. So I just wanna go over the prices of everything and uh, see if they're worth it. So the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream is $45. Now, that's, that's little for $45. I don't know, but I guess it depends on how well it works. I've said before, I am constantly uh, mix and matching my eye cream, so I don't know what really works. I don't stick with anything long enough to know. I just keep the air, the area under my eyes hydrated. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, but I'll, I'll see if I can work with this strictly just to see if it makes any difference. Um, the Alamar Cosmetics, the Spanglish palette was $28. Um, I think it's a fair price. The shimmers are nice. I will say that although they recommend that you use the shimmers wet, um, I find that they went on okay dry with a finger, not with a brush. So that's how I use them today. And I thought that was the most effective way to use them. And of course I use the mattes as they recommended dry. Um, I think it's worth it. $28 and definitely I want to support my, uh, fellow Latinos, especially during Hispanic Heritage Month, I definitely recommend everybody go over to Alamar Cosmetics and check out what they have. The Hank and Henry lipstick is $18. I, I, I definitely wouldn't pay $18 for this shade of nude. I mean, it looks nice now because it has a little shine on it, but prior to that, I looked a little dead. Um, so I, I'm not a big fan of like matching my skin no, it looks like I have foundation on my lips. I, I don't really care for that look. Now I'm okay with it, but I don't think I'd pay $18. At least not for that. I will say the formula was nice, is nice. It feels nice on the lips. It feels comfortable. Even with um, me putting a little lip gloss over it, it still feels comfortable. It looks like it wears very well. So I may buy a Hank and Henry lip product, just not in this color. So confession time. I didn't use the Laura Geller mascara. I used my Benefit Roller Lash because that's my go-to. I love that wand. Um, I, I'm not very good at lashes. I've said this before. So I need an, uh, a mascara that really just works well for me. And it's all about the wand. And I just don't like the way that wand looks. I mean, I'll try it another time. Not when I'm doing a full face of makeup. 
but I just don't like those kind of wands. Sorry. Billion Dollar Beauty Blender. Okay, $15 though. I've never heard of the company before, and I'm pretty sure I could get a Real Techniques one for like eight bucks. So I'll be honest with you. I was this close to canceling BoxyCharm this month. It's, it's a love-hate relationship I have with them. Some months are horrible. And other months I'm like, oh, okay, there's something great here. This month, it came really late. And I know that I joined in the middle of a month, but they've been pretty consistent with getting me my, my, uh, my box kind of four to five days after the original time that I, I registered for BoxyCharm. This is really late. I didn't get it till today. And that is like madness. I think, what, what the hell is it? Today's the 22nd, I think. I don't even know what day it is. This, this crazy world that we're living in. I don't even know what the hell the date is. Uh, let me check. It's the 22nd. So that's, that's a really long time. Uh, the longest actually that I've ever waited for my boxy charm. So I was already annoyed that it was so late. I wasn't going to make this video, but I think they redeemed themselves this month by including a Latino owned company for Hispanic Heritage Month. So this month's BoxyCharm, I'm going to give you a pass. And I'd like to get back to uh, the excitement of having the BoxyCharm. I'm tired of every month thinking I'm going to have to cancel. I don't like that feeling. When I spend money on a subscription box, I want it to be exciting. So hopefully next month, BoxyCharm will come through again. October 15th is the end of Hispanic Heritage Month, so they still have time to do more Latino-owned companies in their box. That would be really nice. Um, don't come for me, by the way. Don't come for me when I was doing my foundation. Yikes. I think I ruined my sweater. But anyway, if this is your first time here, Hello, my name is Monica, and I'm glad that you guys stopped by to see my video today. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd like to see you again, and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys soon.